welcome everyone the first step is to find the folder you want to share in my case I'm going to create a new folder by right clicking highlighting new and then folder and so I'm just going to call this folder video you can call it whatever you want once you have the folder you would like to share we're going to right click this folder and then we're going to click on properties and then we're going to click on sharing and then we're going to click on share we see choose people to share with and we're going to click on the arrow right here we're going to click on everyone and then we're going to click on add you're going to see permission level is only read so let's click on the arrow next to read and we're going to change it to read slash write and then we're going to click on share the folder has now been shared so let's click on done and now we see the advanced sharing we're going to click on the advanced sharing we're going to click share this folder the share name leave that as it is and then we're going to see permissions we're going to click on permissions and we're going to make sure everyone is selected and you're just going to click on the tick next to full control and allow and this allows our iPhone to not just read the files but write to them as well so let's click on apply and then let's click on OK we're going to click on apply again OK again and then we're going to click on close from here we're going to find the search bar you may have to click on the start menu to see the search bar and we're just going to search for the control panel so you can see control panel and you're going to click into this one inside of the control panel we're going to see the search and in the search we're going to search for net work and you should see the network and sharing center and you're going to click on this one once we are in the network and sharing center we're going to see change advanced sharing settings so we're going to click into this one here on the older windows you will still be in the control panel on the newer windows you'll be brought to the settings app regardless you should see private networks public networks and all networks so we're going to click on all networks click on the arrow and public folder sharing make sure this is on file sharing connections leave this one as it is password protected sharing if you have a username and password for your computer I'd recommend you have this on I don't have a passcode on my computer so I'm going to turn this one off if this is on you will need to enter in the username and password when your iPhone connects otherwise you can connect seamlessly under public networks make sure network discovery and file and printer sharing are both turned on under private networks tap on the arrow and you're going to see network discovery file and printer sharing make sure these are on and make sure set up network connected devices automatically is also on once we have done this we now need to get the IP of our computer to do this we're going to go back into the search and we're going to search for CMD 
and you should see either CMD or command prompt and you're going to open the command prompt and we're going to type in this command ipconfig it's one word you can see right here and you're going to click on enter so take note of what network you're using are you connected via Wi-Fi do you use an Ethernet cable if you're connected via Wi-Fi you're gonna look for something which says Wi-Fi and next to it it should show IPv4 address and then this address right here this is what we need if you have Ethernet connected then look for the Ethernet and just find that IPv4 address right here. If you don't know what is the right IP address, then just try each one you see one by one on the iPhone. So I'm going to move back to the iPhone and just make sure your computer stays on and then let's do the final steps. On the iPhone itself, make sure you are on the same network as your computer okay once you have verified this we're going to search for and open up the files app if you don't see the files app it is free from the app store and it's made by apple once we are in this app we're going to tap on browse and you should see this view. We're now going to tap on the triple dots and then we're going to see connect to server. From here you need to enter in the IP address that you saw on your computer. So IPv4 address we see it right here. So I'm going to enter mine in if you have connection issues remember there were multiple ip addresses so just go through one by one if you're still having issues you may have a newer computer with ipv6 and so you will need to enter instead of ipv4 address the ipv6 address so once you've entered this as the server you're going to tap on connect. If you remain the tick for authentication, you will need to enter in your computer username and password. But I tick that option off. So we can just connect as guests. And so we're going to tap on next. And now we're in. So two things. First of all, you're going to notice I have access to the full file system. However, we only shared the sharing folder. So you can see I can't create new folders. No, I can't. If I go to the desktop here, uh, I can't delete stuff or so create new folders. You can see that permission, what I'm trying to say, is the only folder I can actually play around with is that video folder okay so we can see the video folder should show up immediately or whatever you named the folder you are sharing and in here we can create new folders we can move files into here we can do whatever we would like some of you may have questions first of all can your PC access the files from your iPhone with this method? The answer is no. We can only access the files from our PC with the iPhone and the files from the PC with the PC. You would need to physically connect your iPhone to the computer to access folders like DCIM. It would show up in the File Explorer. Uh, if you are having issues with that, you will need to look up a tutorial. On top of this, let's say I wanted to go to a folder that you know I don't have permission for 
or I didn't share. You can see I have absolutely no permission here. And um, yeah, so you can only play around with the folders you have permission for. And so I could upload files here. I could download files. If you need assistance using the Files app, just search into YouTube how to use Files app on iPhone and then search up my channel name and you should see my tutorial. And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.